Hey guys, remember when I introduced you to Pusty the Mayor? Well, she's actually a he, and his name is actually Rusty. <laughs> the R just rusted away. Yep. Anyway, um, I got the chance to finally do something really big, and I got to lead a horse. Um, as you can see, he's so big, that lamppost, if three humans couldn't make it move, and he's just scratching himself, and it's rocking, okay? That's how big and strong of an animal he is. Not only that, um, there's thousands of cultures of how to raise a horses. One thing the entire world agrees on is if you do switch between cultures of raising a horses, you always go to a horse's left. So I had to go to his left, which is between his massive body and a brick wall, which was short, quite basically risking my life. I, he could have barreled me, which is a fancy talk for a horse crushing you to death. Uh, but he didn't. Again, the rope was slightly pulled, just thrown over his neck. Um, I firmly but gently suggested. He was a little hesitant. He was testing me, like, who are you to tell me what to do? Um, but then finally, he came over. Um, and as you can see, um, I started realizing I got to be cognizant of my feet. You do not want a 2,000 pound animal to step on you. And last thing, guys, um, unlike most Instagram where everyone has the best life, I try to keep it real. And all of us are not born with blessed lives. I think it's our job to make our lives blessed. And being with these animals has truly uh, blessed me and my life. And a quick shout out to the Wildcat employee here who closes the fence. Uh, until next week, continue to make your life blessed. Ciao.